welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. And this is Logan. If you're new here, we call him Logie Bear. And today I am taking you through my entire house, cleaning everything top to bottom. If you are looking for cleaning motivation, a whole house clean with me, extreme clean with me, you guys are in the right place. And he is waving hello to you guys. Hi, Logie. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and smash that like button below, subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. Comment down below what motivates you most to clean. For me, it's probably some good music or a good podcast or just watching YouTube. Okay, let's get started. We're getting started and we are starting in the bedroom. I want you guys to see what kind of mess I have going on here. Holy cow, there are things everywhere. So I'm so excited to get started and clean this up. The very first thing I'm gonna start with is all the laundry that I have on the bed. Obviously, I can't really do much until that is done. It was all clean laundry, so I just needed to go ahead and put it away. Typically, when we do laundry, we do it together and Derek will do his stuff and I will do my stuff and Logan's stuff. It just tends to go by quicker that way. But he was working and taking care of Logie Bear at the moment, so I went ahead and did his laundry as well. I wanted to give all of our bedding a really good wash in the washing machine on hot with vinegar the whole nine yards so I went ahead and took off all of our bedding all of our sheets our pillowcases all that kind of good stuff and that is what I am doing right now and then I will go ahead and go throw it into the laundry machine The next step was to clean up our little ottoman here that sits at the bottom of our bed. You can't even see how pretty it is because it's so cluttered right now, but you will see in just a few seconds. This is seriously the prettiest piece I've ever gotten. I got it at um, TJ Maxx for like $100, which is not bad for this kind of tufted ottoman. It sits at the end of our bed. It is the length of our queen bed, and I absolutely love it. It also doubles as storage, so I keep our linens in here. If you have watched my previous video that is up about our hall closet organization, you would see that we do not have a lot of storage in our hall closet for our linens, so this is where I keep them. I'm just throwing our two big quilts in here that I had on top of it and then putting in the rest of the stuff so that it closes. And next I am moving on to our side tables. I'm going to be cleaning down all of the mirrors starting with our um, regular e-cloth and then I will go in with the polishing e-cloth. I find it works best that way and I'm using the force of nature spray throughout this entire video. So anytime you see me spray something, it is always, always, always with the force of nature spray, which I will have a link down below. I love that stuff. It is a cleaner, cleaner basically and it's just as effective as bleach, as Clorox, but without all the harmful chemicals. So just cleaning off our nightstands and our mirrors and then we will move on to the next task. And the 
next task is dun, da, 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 cleaning off the dresser. <laughs> I swear every place in our bedroom has recently become a catch-all. I was just trying to catch up on doing work and making videos for you guys that I was totally neglecting our bedroom. Typically our downstairs stays cleaner just because Logie Bear is always down there crawling around and stuff and we tend to spend most of our time downstairs. So our bedroom definitely gets neglected by me. So I'm just cleaning off the dresser and then I will be wiping it down with the Force of Nature spray and the e-cloth and it looks so much better. Then I'm going out to the hallway, which is where we have this little like landing that has this railing. I don't even know what you would call this, a half wall. And we use this for drying our laundry. So it looks like a mess, but this is actually stuff that just needed to be air dried. Um, it makes it look so messy, but sometimes you guys know you just can't throw everything into the dryer. So I'm picking everything up here and I'm gonna go place it back where it belongs. Some of the stuff needs to be put away like it's clothes and such. And then some of it also needs to be picked up and put downstairs or back in the bathroom, just wherever it belongs. That is where it is going. I am taking the time to put things back in the right place because I feel like that is how I get a fresh reset and it feels the best way to me instead of just going around and having little piles that I've just snuck into the closet or whatever. This is what feels best for me. If you're wondering why I'm putting this shoe back, I had to find both of Logie Bear's water shoes, but you might also be wondering why I had everything back on the dresser like I did, and that is because I was packing for a trip, and the way I pack is, you'll, I, you probably have already seen in the pack with me video that went up on my channel, but the way I pack is like over time as I'm like doing laundry and stuff because we do laundry so frequently, I will just kind of set out things that I know I want to take with us and I was using the dresser for that. So I did clean off the dresser, but then I put my little pile back that I knew was going to be going into a suitcase in not too long of a time from that time frame of when I was filming this, so it really didn't bother me too much. But now I am taking the vacuum, I am moving everything aside, and I'm really getting into those crevices that may not be vacuumed on like a regular basis, and just making sure I get all the dust out of the crevices. <laughs> Also, somebody, anybody, please raise your hand if you have done what I'm about to do. Please let me know I'm not alone. <laughs> the curtain goes right into the vacuum cleaner. Yep, typical. It is time to switch over the laundry and the next thing that I will be throwing in is our big like um, comforter that goes inside of our duvet. I think it's the down comforter and I will be running this on a hot wash with a cold rinse with um, some regular detergent and some vinegar. This is quite possibly the messiest I've ever let our bathroom get. It's because everything is on the counter, like things I needed to remember to rebuy. I have a lot of hair ties out there. We have, now we have to keep like our toilet brush and stuff up there on the counter. Otherwise Logie Bear gets in there. You can just see that Logie Bear is in the phase right now of bringing everything out of the cabinets and we don't necessarily get it all put back. So here I am just going through, I'm gonna take everything off the counters, put everything away where it needs to be, exactly where it belongs going to be cleaning everything down and just refreshing this room and restarting it. To clean my mirror in the bathroom, I'm doing the exact same combo that I did in the bedroom. I'm just spraying the Force of Nature cleaner, then I'm using the green multi-purpose um, e-cloth, microfiber cloth, whatever you wanna call it, and then I am using the glass polishing cloth. I just find this leaves it streak-free, and it is the best. It's so easy to. Um, along with the Force of Nature spray, the e-cloth will also be linked in the description box below. <music>
Because the Force of Nature cleaner does sanitize, I like to go ahead and spray the toilet and then let it sit. So I will do that and then go ahead with like my other stuff. So here I'm just emptying the trash can, then I'll spray the trash can so that can sit as well. Cleaning up the floor and then I will be taking all the rugs out and the towels, anything like that. Those will be going into the wash as well. And then I will be vacuuming the floor up and then moving on to cleaning the toilet, which is like my least favorite part, but it does feel good once it's done. Everything is clean and done and I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back onto the counter making sure to give it a good wipe down as well before I put it back and then we will see the transformation of how good this looks. Yay! Moving right along, I'm coming to our set of stairs here and I'm gonna be vacuuming them first with the brush attachment and then I will be going in to all of the little like creases and stuff with the longer like angled attachment. I'm not sure if there's like a word for that. I'm sure there is, but that is what I'm doing right here. I really despise vacuuming the stairs, but I love it when they're done. I don't know, it just feels so good and so much cleaner. <laughs> The stairs are done, so I'm coming downstairs and we are going to go ahead and clean out our little entryway here. It always gets cluttered with shoes and jackets, like these winter jackets. We are obviously in summer, we do not need these now. And here I am just showing you up close and personal how gross it gets in here because everything gets tracked in. We do have a doormat, but there's just a lot of us coming in and out all the time. So I'm just gonna clean up the shoes and then I'm gonna clean up the floor, take everything upstairs that needs to be taken upstairs. You know the whole drill, just cleaning this area up and getting it looking nice and fresh. It feels so good to walk into your house and it's just like clean from the get-go. Do you know what I mean? Here I am showing you all my little dirty secrets, guys. <laughs> this is what came out of the vacuum. Nasty. And we are headed in to the living room. I told you guys, I pretty much keep our main level fairly clean. It's just like a lot of toys that need to be cleaned up, but that is always happening. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean everything up. We're gonna dust off the TV stand, TV console, whatever you like to call it. And I'm gonna be vacuuming as well. Also, please do not fool yourself into thinking these toys stayed put away. They did not. They were only put away for the time that I was vacuuming. Then Logie Bear woke up from his nap and he was ready to play with them again. They are always out and I am totally fine with that. <laughs> Thank you. 
you might have noticed we're watching something on the TV. It is Kim's Convenience on Netflix, I believe. It's either Netflix or Hulu. So funny. We love this show. Another satisfying after for you guys. It is so clean and so fresh in here. We are moving on into the kitchen and this little island area is also a catch-all for us. And I'm so sorry if you can hear Cole breathing in the microphone. He is sitting next to me right now and he refuses to get off my lap. So I am just having to work around this exactly like you see in the video, Logie Bear attached to my hip. It is mom life, you guys. They are always on top of me somewhere, somehow. So we are getting this cleaned up and I am so grateful that Derek was able to help me. He was done with his work day now. As you can see, this literally took me all day to clean. So Derek is going ahead and cleaning off Logie Bear's tray and his bib. And then I will put it back onto his high chair. I'm so grateful for his help. He will be helping me later in the video as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the dishes and just kind of clean up the kitchen. Do like a brief clean because like I said, stays fairly clean. And then I will show you an essential oils diffuser blend that I use today. You'll also see that I was filling a pot with water. I was also in the middle of making like a really late lunch for us as well and we were making noodles. The boys had um, spaghetti with like marinara sauce and I made myself a pasta salad which I posted on my Instagram stories and I saved it under my highlights under recipes. It was so good. I took a screenshot for you guys and shared with you the recipe that I made up. So good. You seriously need to go try it. All right, are you ready for my super hard and confusing diffuser recipe? Here it is. Four drops of lavender and four drops of lemongrass. That's it. <laughs> I just threw it into my diffuser and turned it on. I love the candlelight setting on this one. And then I will go ahead and start my Force of Nature cleaner over here as well. If you're ever curious about how to do the Force of Nature cleaner, this is how. So, of course, linked in the description box below. But, um, yeah, I love this stuff. Here is my super clean kitchen, you guys, with something already going on the stove. <laughs> That's just mom life for you. And here you will see I've changed outfits. This was actually because I cut Derek's hair earlier in the day in the outfit that I was cleaning in and I needed to change. I was getting hair splinters everywhere. So anyways, we um, are making the bed here. I convinced Derek to help me make the bed. And as you can see, we had some visitors, especially Logie Bear, and we made the bed. It feels so good. And now we are done. All right, you guys, that is it from me today and Logie Bear. Our whole house is so freaking clean, you guys. It feels so good. I am so proud of, well, myself because I did it. I hope you guys got all the cleaning motivation that you needed today and you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. And remember to comment down below what motivates you most when you're cleaning. I will see you guys next time. Bye. You say bye? You see, aww.